guys welcome back i'm parshvika welcome to my channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person as an artist well in today's video we're going to be talking about the zazzle api because i get a lot of the comments from you guys about make a video about the zazzle api how to do that so i'm going to talk about the zazzle api and how to integrate it in this video so let's dive in give this video a big thumbs up consider subscribing if you want more such videos we have a lot of cool free resources the links are in the description box below you can grab the two of the Zazzle products that we have in our store, one is the Zazzle Verbal Planner that we're going to hold you guide, make more money on Zazzle, which helped me to become Zazzle Pro Seller. It's a PDF download. The link is in the description box below. The second one we have is the Beginner Zazzle Kit that contains the tutorial step-by-step -step guide that you need to get started with the Zazzle and making more money. The link is in the description box below. Both the products are in the description box below. And you can check out the product as well. Let's dive in. So Zazzle API, it's kind of like an integration the Zazzle in, onto your website. So there are the certain steps which I'm gonna be covering. So let's talk about products and make money on the Zazzle. So that is the kind of like the stuff that you're gonna look forward to Zazzle API. So first we're gonna talk about why you wanna integrate with the Zazzle API. So first it's the ease of integration. The second it supports dynamic images and text. The third is there is a large product of collection. They almost have thousands plus product on their uh, platform. Rich earning potential. Set up your royalty rate and earn up to 15% referral rate plus up to 17% volume bonus on each sale. The security and the peace of the mind. So these are the certain reason why you really want to integrate with the Zazzle on your website. Now there are the certain examples you can look at that. The Cartoonize by Pet, Taylor Brands, Word Art. Now, uh, we're going to talk about the frequently asked question and then I'm going to go dive deep into step by step how to do the Zazzle API, how to integrate into your website. Okay, so first question is, can I link to individual product pages or to a range of products? This is a thing for those of people who want to integrate the Zazzle, their own Zazzle store or somebody's else Zazzle store on their website for the sake of earning as a referral income, affiliate income or for earning as a Zazzle designer. You have the two options where you to link your products, individual product pages or the range of products in your store, both specified by you. So you can choose whether you want to uh, have the entire range of the products or only the couple of the product pages. The second question is, can I control the product selection in my store? Definitely, you can pick up and choose what range of products you like to use in your Zazzle. API integration. So the choice is yours, whichever product pages you want to choose, one product or a couple of products, you can very well choose this. Can I determine what part of design are customizable? Yes, you can also have a full control over customization spec for each product. Talk the design elements that get applied to the product via the API so that no one will be able to modify the design on Zazzle once it's been created on your site. So that's a great, you can lock the design elements in the Zazzle designer tool, okay? Now, another question is, how do I display products featuring my images on my site? So that is, you have the ability to dynamically display different products from your Zazzle store on your site through the RSS feed. Now, this is a something uh, depend on whatever website you're having, whether it's a WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, whatever website or builder you are using, you're going to have an RSS feed where you can provide the Zazzle store site. What are the resolution requirements? The API links would be 150 PPI for apparels, aprons, uh, bags, hats, spouse pads, ties, 200 PPI for mugs, drinkware, calendars, cards, keychain, magnets, postcard, and all the stickers, 300 PPI for custom postage, 100 PPI for photo enlargement prints and posters. So these are the certain guidelines. Obviously, you can go into the Zazzle image guidelines and you can read more about it. But now we're going to go over to the section about integrating the Zazzle API onto your website. Now, obviously, you can start using the API. You can sign into the Zazzle affiliate program and you can do that. But instead of that, I'm going to go over to this PDF, which they have as a guide, which is which contains a step by step procedure on how to integrate the Zazzle API on your website. So I'm going to talk about these step by step methods, which will going to be clear for you. Now, I'm not integrating the Zazzle API on my website, so I'm not going to show you the live demonstration on how to do a one because I don't want that on my website. I want it to be there on the Zazzle uh, store on the Zazzle itself. And if I want to promote, then I can promote it via the Pinterest. But if you are looking forward to promote your Zazzle store via the website, via the blog article, via the Google search on your directly on your website, then this is something you really need to do in terms of the Zazzle API. So let's dive in and 
talk about these step-by-step -step methods on how you could actually do that. The Zazzle API page, there's gonna be a link, a button to actually download the API guide. It's a PDF download, 12 pages PDF download, which you can simply download from the Zazzle website for integrating with the Zazzle API. So I'm gonna talk from this web, uh, from this PDF itself and explain to you guys how you could actually integrate it. The first thing is the general overview and then we're gonna go the steps. So the general overview is basically you can have one product as a Zazzle API or you can have a range of the products, it depends from you. Now there are basically the six different steps. So let's talk about these uh, six basic steps. The fourth step is you need to create a Zazzle account. It's quite seem obvious, obviously you need to have a Zazzle account. The second is create a store in your account. That's obvious. You can guys can do that. I don't need to talk more about it because I've already made a video showing you how to open up a store on Zazzle. I'm going to leave that video in the cast section above if you are completely new or you could very well grab the Zazzle beginner's kit in which I'm showing you the step by step procedure to sign on Zazzle, creating the store categories, templates and all that. The link is in description box below. So first is a create a Zazzle account. The second is create a store in your account. The third is the create a store category for your templates, whatever uh, templates you want to create, whatever niche you're targeting, whatever product you're targeting, you need to have a store category. Uh, you can set one too many implementation of the API or you can set a different different categories. It depends on you. The next thing is you have to create the templates. Okay where we are talking about the product templates or design templates. Then we have is the creating the links and then placing the links in your website or application, whatever it is. So I'm not going to go dive into the first couple of the steps because they are very simple. I've already covered in another video. I'm going to leave that video in the class section above or in my Zazzle beginner's kit if you want that, whichever one suit comfortable for you. But account creation setup, that's a Zazzle account. Second is a store creation. Third is the store categorization. That means creating the store for your templates for which you want to create a Zazzle API. The other one is actually creating the templates where you can create the templates. Now in the template creation, you can go over to the Zazzle designer tool and you can create the templates for the text space, photo, image, logo, whatever type of templates you want to create. The second thing which we're going to go over to the links. This is the fifth uh, fifth step, okay? And then the last step is placing the links in the website. The last step is the most crucial, which I'm going to deep dive into. But the fifth step is you need to create the links. So how are you going to create the links? You need to, uh, once you have made the product categories and you have made the template design, you have made the store, then there is a link building tool on the Zazzle, which is the uh, associate create tool they have where you can place the link of the product or link of the store and then it will going to generate your own affiliate referral link and that link you could actually use for integrating into your website as a Zazzle API. So I'm going to leave the link of this tool in the description box below and also the API website link of the Zazzle that page in the description box below you can very well check it out. But here we have created the templates we have created the link. Now, you could also create the manual links. I think I've already made a video talking about how to create the links for your affiliate. Whether you're creating a manually, manually what you have to do, you have to take the link of the product or the store or the category and then you need to add your referral ID, your affiliate referral ID at the back of the link. That makes the entire sense or you can use the tool that already the Zazzle has and you can generate the link from there. So you can manually do that. So you need to have a member account ID, 18 digit number, your associate ID, 18 digit number. And then you need to place after the link of the product, your own uh, associate ID, that's 18 digit number. I recommend you to use the tool because if you're manually doing it and if you are missing a single component in your link, then your link would be broken and people wouldn't be able to refer to the product page that you want to link them, okay? So make sure you use these as a tool itself for creating the link instead of manually going and clicking and making a link. Parts of the building the link, one is building the template link. Another one is making a template buffet. So template link simple is that you're just uh, connecting the one template product uh, on your website via that one link. The second one is actually having just one link, but which will going to be referred to the various different templates that you have in your store. Okay. So what do you have to do for a single link? You can click on the create a template link option. And then you can enter the template ID or URL of that particular template. 
and then you can place in the placeholder data is the image that will be inserted into the template objects. So paste a link for the image URL and add a type the word or phrase. Then click over to the option allow personalization so that people can click on this link and they can add it and personalize the product. And then your link is complete and click try now to test it out. Simple. You just need to make that link, okay, in the Zazzle creation tool. Uh, use that link and place it on the RSS feed on your website. And then that particular template link will be connected to your RSS feed, uh, connected to the website via the RSS feed. Uh, it may be a simple procedure, it may be a complicated procedure depending on whatever website builder you are using, but I would highly recommend you to read the step-by-step -step guide, the PDF that Zazzle already have, and then contact the Zazzle customer support to help you connecting the Zazzle API template pages to your website. Because depending on whatever website builder you're using, it will going to vary. Wix have a different setting, Squarespace has a different, WordPress has a different, or some other website builder if you're using, it would be a little bit different. So I can't go into this, um, each and every single steps of incorporating that Zazzle API link onto your website because it will going to vary for every single website builder out there. But I can tell you the how to generate that link on the Zazzle API, which I'm covering over here, and you can use this link that you have generated and place them on your website. The second thing is one I've already covered about the simple template link. The second one is a template buffet. That means a single link will going to create many products for the people. So you can click over to the button on, on the tool, create a template buffet, and then choose the store name and category where your templates are located. Then use the placeholder images uh, and type the word and phrases, allow personalization. Then the link is complete. Just copy that link, go over to the website, build the RS feed and place that link. Simple. So in this way in which you, People can create a little single link and we're going to go direct it towards multiple different products that they can create via this one specific link. So you can do it very simple by product creation, the link building tool the Zazzle has. If you're doing it manually, then it's a little bit tricky procedure. They have explained it in various detail in the coding sequences, how you could do that. I'm not going to go into that coding sequence because I'm, in, I'm recommending you building tool the Zazzle already has. And once you have build a link, you can simply place it on your website and boom, your product, your Zazzle product has been linked onto the website by the Zazzle API and you can very well use it because those links are the Zazzle API links which you can very well use it. It's simple procedure, but depending on whichever website builder you're using, it will going to be a little bit complicated, but make sure you contact the Zazzle customer support for more help in this area because they would be able to help you or whichever website builder you're using, you can contact them as well to know where to place the website and how to do all the customization option on your website. But this is a general overview on how you can integrate the Zazzle API on your website for promoting your products on your website to make more money. Hopefully I have cleared that question and doubt and I've, uh, but since I can't give you the live demo because I'm not doing it on my own website, but hopefully you find this video useful. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll get us in the next video. Till then take care. Bye guys.